Hello there, it's Tiago, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you an alternative way to derive Pythagoras' theorem. This method involves using Thales' theorem. Now, the first thing I'd like to mention is that the radius of this circle is c, okay? So this length over here is going to be c, and this length over here is also going to be c. Now, because the length over here is a, this length to the right over here is going to be c minus a, okay? This length over here is going to be b, and as I said, this length over here is going to be c. And because this angle over here is pi over 2, which is equivalent to 90 degrees, we have a right angle triangle which I've made more clear over here. All right? Now, because of these circumstances, we can say that tan theta, which is opposite over adjacent, is b over c plus a. Okay? This length over here is c plus a, and this length over here is b and we've got a right-angled triangle. Now, the angles inside a triangle must all add up to 180 degrees. This means that pi over 2 is going to be distributed over this angle over here and the angle theta plus x, okay? And because this is the case, theta plus x must be equal to pi over 2 minus theta. And if we rearrange this equation over here, we get x is equal to pi over 2 minus 2 theta. Now, the third thing that needs to be mentioned is that theta plus x plus y is equal to 90 degrees, which is pi over 2. This is because of Thales's theorem. Now, I've left a link to Thales's theorem just below this video. You can watch the clip related to this proof if you click the link below this video. So, theta plus x plus y is pi over 2. And we know that x is pi over 2 minus 2 theta. This is going to mean that theta plus pi over 2 minus 2 theta plus y is equal to pi over 2. If we rearrange this equation over here, we get y is pi over 2 minus theta minus pi over 2 minus 2 theta. This is going to leave us with pi over 2 minus theta minus pi over 2 plus 2 theta. These two over here cancel each other out, and we're left with y is equal to theta, okay? And this is what we're going to use to formulate the rest of our proof. Okay, so we've established that y is equal to theta, okay? So, we can say that tan y, which is equal to tan theta, is opposite over adjacent. And in this case, as y is up here, and this over here is a right-angled triangle, opposite over adjacent is going to be c minus a over b, okay? So tan y, which is tan theta, is c minus a over b. Now, we've got two values for tan theta. We've got b over c plus a, and we've also got c minus a over b. This means that they are equivalent, okay? So we can write b over c plus a is equal to c minus a over b. 
Okay, so we're at a stage where we can complete our proof. If we multiply both sides of this equation over here by b, we get b squared over c plus a is equal to c minus a. If we then multiply both sides of this equation by c plus a, we get b squared is equal to c plus a multiplied by c minus a. If we apply the FOIL method to this equation, we get b squared is equal to c squared minus ac plus ac minus a squared. Now, the minus ac and plus ac over here cancel each other out, and we get b squared is equal to c squared minus a squared. If we add a squared to both sides of this equation, we end up with Pythagoras's theorem. And that is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Okay? And we have our proof. And this proof is related to this right angled triangle over here, which we have inside our diagram. If this video has been helpful to you, make sure you are subscribed to my channel as I'll be making more proofs. For extra mathematics proofs, which are posted almost on a daily basis, visit mathematics.proofs on Instagram. Thanks for watching this video and I'll talk again soon.